Hey, I'm Kennedy. My name is John. Uh, we play in the main, and we love Rock Forever magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and today I'm hanging out with Kennedy and John from the Maine. How are you guys doing today? Doing well. Doing well, well. It's a very beautiful day out. Well, we're going to start off something fun for you guys. Just some finish the sentence. Okay. So, you got this? Now, before I go on stage, I always... Uh, drink tea. Drink tea. Drink tea. <laughs> yeah. There you go, right? Answer that for Do you. Do a few stretches. Yeah. Definitely helpful before going on stage. You <laughs> yeah. guys put a lot of energy into your show, so stretching is very helpful. And so the craziest fan experience ever was when? Mm. We had something pretty crazy just happen to us in uh, the Philippines. There were uh, kids that found out what hotel we were staying in oh. and what floor we were on. And that can't be good. They were bribing the, uh, the security guards that were on the floor Gosh. to get hotel keys to that floor. What? It was pretty wild. So did any of them actually make it up there? Or? There were a few infiltrators. The, <laughs> did yeah. they do anything? I think they were, too, they? They were too shocked when they actually got to the floor. Yeah. Oh, no. They, so they panicked. didn't do anything. They just yeah. kind of watched from afar. Yeah. Made it really awkward. I, yeah, I think if they even would have gotten near, I think they would have just, I don't know, yeah. just kind of stayed silent. I'm not sure. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> they should be excited to see you guys. missed. Exactly. Know. Maybe next time when you guys are in the Philippines. There you go, yeah. Yeah, I don't enforce that, by the way. <laughs> I, I suggest you don't try to trespass the hotel. Don't do that. But if I was a superhero, I would... Save the world. Oh, the good old answer. Um, fly for free. Hey, true. nice. Oh, my gosh, that's, a, that's so true. You never need an airplane again if you're a superhero. Yeah. Now, my secret talent is... Um, I heard you could sing, right? There you go. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. That's cool enough for both of us, I guess. <laughs> I've always wanted to learn how to do that, but after this interview, we'll make it happen. <laughs> and so, three words to describe our music are... Um, earnest. Mm, uh, pondering over there. Uh, loud. <laughs> Definitely loud in concert. <laughs> Got a good sound system. Rock. Rock. I like it. And so you guys are on tour, and this is a really long tour. It I mean, is. you're going till August. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys prepare to be on the road for so long? I don't. I don't know if we've ever done a stretch this long. Yeah. Um, and we had to kind of plan accordingly because we were in Australia and the Philippines right before this so we mm -hmm. had to yeah we kind of worked on a few different uh, sets mm -hmm. uh, before we left um, a little while ago oh, so you guys switch it up every night or um, uh, mostly on this run we're gonna kind of stick to the same mm -hmm. kind of core um, very a little bit but but yeah we had to come up with a different set because we weren't playing as long in the Philippines yeah. or Australia so yeah, it's a, uh, and then you have to pack for different types I of weather. I was gonna say, it's, I cannot imagine how odd. huge your suitcases must be. We actually, uh, we were only allowed one carry-on from oh, like man. China to some place, and so, so we yeah, basically we're... fit all of our clothes into a suitcase yeah. together collectively. It's a good thing this isn't a girl band, or else that would be yeah, impossible. Yeah. So good I for think you I guys. Three shirts for two yeah. weeks. Wow, yeah. that, I could never do that. You guys, that's awesome. <laughs> but uh, what are your must-haves on the road, other than obvious the clothing? Um, anything that you always have to bring? Anything that can play music. Yeah, some, something yeah. to play music. Keep you entertained. And uh, good attitudes. Yes, definitely a good one. When you're all yeah. together all the time, mm -hmm. you know, got to keep a good vibe. Mm -hmm. And so what can fans expect to see at your shows? A lot of, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, definitely. I think we're, we're really, we've transitioned. Not that we've not taken our music serious in, in the past, but um, I think we've really transitioned into trying to put on the best sounding show as possible. Mm -hmm. And if that means... Uh, you know, if that takes away from moving around and kind of being flashy, then so be it. So, I mean, there's nights when we just want to really, you know, stand still and just focus on playing as, as well as we can. And some nights we can goof around a little bit more. But I think at this point in our, in our band's career, I think we're really focused on mm -hmm. sounding. Well, I know sounding. I saw you guys a year ago and you were amazing. So 
can't wait for tonight. It's going to be Thank a great you. show. And everyone, be sure to come out to the tour. It's going to be awesome. And uh, your album Pioneer is out right now. And <laughs> this is something I've been wondering for so long. What inspired this album artwork? I, I keep looking at it. I'm like trying to figure out if there's a hidden meaning. So now you guys are here to tell me. Um, I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of meaning to it, 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 but I'll give you the loose, broad kind of meaning. Okay. Uh, essentially, I think it represents a ton of different things. It represents the creativity that we put into uh, making this album. Mm -hmm. uh, it represents the independence um, that we, I feel like, that we portrayed. Um, in the whole process, it, it, you know, we, we put it out on our own, we paid for it, um, we strayed away from our record label, and um, I think it, it also represents perseverance and uh, hard work. Um, yeah, it's also just, uh, it's cool to look yeah. at. I know. <laughs> when, I mean, John um, kind of came to us with that idea before, it was a real person or, a, uh, you know, a real photo, and I think um, all of us really latched on and thought that that was going to be a, uh, you know, at least a, like a talking point, you know, oh, yeah. at least make somebody think about why, you know, we put something like that on, on the cover yeah. of the record. I know you got at least one person thinking about it, that's for sure, because <laughs> up until now I was thinking, okay, guy in lipstick, all right, great beard, I'll take yeah. it. So now this makes a lot more sense, and I'm sure everyone out there watching is nodding their heads agreeing with that, <laughs> but uh, how would you say that this album is compared to Black and White? How's it different? Um, I think just the most blatant. Uh, it, it was just kind of different from the get-go. Um, just the process. Uh, yeah. The mm -hmm. whole approach is just completely different. Um, it was, like I said, it was just us and no outside influences. No, uh, nobody telling us what we had to sound like or mm -hmm. what we had to dress like or anything like that. I mean, like you that. guys didn't go to any crazy extent because I know some bands, they'll just go in the middle of nowhere in a cabin. You didn't go to that extent, did you? Or uh, we were kind of in the middle of yeah? nowhere. Yeah. We, oh, wow. we recorded in El Paso, Texas, uh, actually in a place called Tornillo, which borders Juarez, Mexico, um, on a pecan farm. Oh, wow. And so you yeah, know pecans, it was good? It was pretty <laughs> desolate. It was actually a really awesome experience. Um, yeah. The last couple albums we we had done we we did them in L.A. and it can kind of get hectic and exactly. yeah, you there's... can kind of lose focus and I think out in Texas we were just you know we really wanted to hone in on what it was we were doing and absolutely put a put an honest effort together so yeah and it's a great album Thank everyone you. seriously check that out but um, what is the message as a band that you guys are trying to convey to your fans I don't think there's I think any the, always like one message to convey. I think. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is is it's all right to to be confused because everybody's confused, and I think the the sooner that you can kind of realize that you're not the only one that feels lost, I think that's the reason that I attach myself to music that I listen to, and that's why I listen to music because it's uh, therapeutic and it it helps uh, with everything. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're not alone. I think that's one of the messages. Yeah, definitely. And so speaking of your fans, we have a ton of fan questions that we received. So we're yeah, going to pick yeah. out a few, totally. answer a few for you guys. So uh, from Hannah, she says, if you could live anywhere other than in the United States, where would you move to? Think big, anywhere. So. We've had the pleasure of seeing a lot of different places. Exactly. Um, there's still a lot that we haven't seen that I, I would love to, but... Uh, I really love France. I really um, liked, uh, Australia. Um, I've heard a lot about Australia. It. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's just yeah. really expensive. So did it you really guys is. take those koala pictures while you were there, like every band uh, does? The last time. we did. Yeah, oh, the, good. The first time we were and, like once really? you're actually like they got big claws. Yeah, those claws are. Oh no. <laughs> like all they yeah they they were a little intimidating. They're very Aww. cute, but yeah. <laughs> Those claws. Like that hidden, uh, yeah. hidden anger could come out. <laughs> now, another fan question here from Ashley. She wants to know, what was your first performance as a band like? Mm, really nerve-wracking. It didn't run smoothly, oh. yeah. Oh, no. The first one that we ever played, he was in another band that played on the same night. Um, yeah, that was just... Uh, it, was, it was over before I knew it, but... Um, when you were on the stage, it, it was just 
<laughs> it was it was very nerve wracking. I'm sure now very you guys are at ease though, right? Yeah, I mean, Definitely. I think if you lose that that butterfly feeling, I think that's when you just lost all passion that's about true. it. You know, so very we true. still get jazzed before we go on stage. I think it's uh, you know, like especially now, um, it, it's a lot more excitement rather than mm-hmm. like nervous yeah. excitement. Exactly. Like just because I feel it. I mean just being able to play for the past you know five years exactly. continuously i think it's there, we're a lot more prepared when we go mm-hmm. on stage than than we were that first mm-hmm. time Definitely. and so <laughs> trying to pull off the same things but just <laughs> yeah you know a lot more nervous when we mm-hmm. first started yeah. no reason to be nervous though i mean i saw the line outside when we were coming in here it is already around the building That's so crazy. you got so many supporters here to see you guys so we got another fan question here from becca and she wants to know if you guys have any inside jokes in the band oh gosh too many too, too many too and many he, and they happen at the somebody or who said it oh jared said it to me i usually uh sometimes if if i drink too much tea before we play oh, i could no. sometimes uh just kind of talk and talk and talk and talk and use and, random inside jokes and i'll use ra- yeah and i'll pull them out and everybody in the crowd will have no idea what oh, no. we're talking about and it's really hilarious for me and everybody yeah. a part of the joke but the best part is everyone probably still laughs at it even though no, they have no well, clue i mean not, or... not a couple of nights ago i oh, no. yeah i mean i was just saying goofy stuff that we always we're very weird people too uh, <laughs> we're very, pretty normal but we're very i think we're very strange in the confines of our own personal you space you dig yourself into very, a hole yeah. on stage with your inside jokes it's it's fun to just keep going <laughs> yeah you're already but I got reprimanded by Jared last night. No. He said keep the inside jokes to a minimum. Oh no! So <laughs> I don't know. I think so I'm gonna tone jokes. it down, but I'm not getting rid of them. No, don't get rid of yeah. them. I think they seem really interesting. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping to hear a few tonight. Mm-hmm. And uh, so thank you, Becca, for that great, entertaining yeah, question. Yeah. And so I know this is kind of far ahead, but what are your plans for after the tour? Well, that's a couple of months from now. Um, but afterwards, we're. We actually get to go back to Brazil. Oh, nice! And we get to go to Argentina for the first time. Um, we're doing that, we uh, we've got to go back to, over to the UK. Mm-hmm. Um, Lots of traveling. Trying to, Lots trying of to traveling. plan something around that. We've got to. Uh, we we know we're going to be on the road in the fall. We just don't know with who yet. And some point after that, probably make another record. Oh, nice! And then, uh, I think we're working on putting out vinyl uh yeah oh, very for, we're uh, putting this record out on vinyl and yeah i think the the, the focus is just uh this record and right. trying to reach as many people as possible with it and see where it takes us and yeah move from there well definitely exciting that you guys get to travel to so many yeah, awesome absolutely. places yeah, is there fortunate. anything in particular that you guys really want to try or anything you want to see while you're overseas i'd love to go swimming in brazil Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. We didn't get an opportunity we didn't, we didn't really, to do that the first time we went, but... It's kind of hectic. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, that, that'd be really fun. Um, we uh, we were able to go over and see um, the uh, Cristo uh, statue when we were in Rio. Mm-hmm. Um, Very cool. That was really, really awesome. So, I mean, that's what I would have yeah. wanted to... <laughs> like, so I already cool. wanted to go see that, so... Um, yeah, there's still a lot left to see. Yeah, I know do, so many so. bands love Brazil. It's beautiful there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's definitely awesome. The internet's huge for bands these days in, mm-hmm. in terms of keeping in touch with fans. So what is the one social network that you guys go to the most? Lately, we try to... I, th- I think to, we, we try, try to... to or, or I guess what the goal for us would be is um, having people regular our, our website. Um, I think that's going to kind of... It's going to go back to that as opposed mm-hmm. to just having a Facebook or whatever. I guess Facebook would be yeah. one of the most useful useful tools at this point. But and I know your Twitter's pretty great. You tweet some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah Twitter. Um, there's just so many yeah, like definitely. social media Lots hubs. To keep up with. It's really, yeah, it's really tough. But I guess um, Facebook, definitely. I think that's the number one. All right, well, definitely check them out on Facebook. And their new album, Pioneer, is out right now, so be sure to grab that on iTunes. And, yeah, so subscribe to our channel for more interviews, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. See you.